Hello and welcome to Dungeon Keeper. Now well, that was quite a cool intro I did over there, right? I mean, well, the dialogue was missing and the uh, me damage the script writer. I think I did an excellent job over there. And uh, this is Dungeon Keeper, guys. Uh, a great game, and we are gonna play as the bad guys. We're gonna be an evil keeper. And, uh, you know, command the armies of hell and demons and devils will do our bidding. Or at least, um, that's the idea behind it, and we're gonna take it up against the good guys. Now, this isn't the newest game, in fact, it's pretty old, it's uh, from my childhood. And, uh, back in the day, you know, when this first came out, uh, um, we got this from a friend, but <laughs> our parents didn't want us playing this game because it was evil and stuff and uh, well you know back in the day oh man but I played it to death anyway because well my parents didn't want me to play it so I did <laughs> you know how that stuff works right and uh, yeah great game and I thought you know what let's play it now technically this isn't Dungeon Keeper this is actually uh, a fan made mod of Dungeon Keeper called Keeper FX and um, well, uh, I'll have to give credits over here to the dude who made it, uh, who is called Thomas Liz. At least, <laughs> I hope I just didn't butcher his name. But it's a Polish dude who made, uh, well, pretty much what he did was he rewrote, uh, you know, the engine and the scripts and whatever else needed to get this game running again. Because, um, well, as I said, you know, I have the original and uh, it is so old that when I put the disc into my computer it didn't do anything it wouldn't even run you could see the files but that's it and he has rewritten it so that now in the time of 64 bits shizzles and a gazillion core processes it runs nicely and he didn't just make the game playable again he actually added some improvements to it like uh, better AI and we can play it in higher resolutions which uh, I think is quite cool because back in the day when this came out, this is from the days when Windows was still in its infantile shoes. Uh, you could play this game back in the day also without Windows, just in DOS. It would run perfectly. So that's where it comes from. And uh, yeah, I can only imagine that it took quite a bit of work to get this up and running. And uh, well, um, I'll put links into the description of this video as well about where to get it and uh, all that stuff. So don't bother questioning about anything. I'll put all the links in there. And it's really easy to get it installed as well, you know. So uh, yeah, with that said, let's uh, get started with it, all right? So we'll start a new game. And uh, you'll see that, well, this is part of the mod as well. Uh, the dude, well actually, <laughs> I say the dude, but <laughs> he goes by the name of uh, Mephistoteles on the forums. And um, he actually added pretty much all the custom campaigns he could find on the interwebs at that time to it. So, But we're not going to play all of them, we are going to play the original campaign. Now, before we start this, uh, I should tell you one thing that... Um, Usually I try to keep the videos like half an hour in length, <laughs> I quite often fail horribly at it, <laughs> but usually I try and do that. Not gonna do that with this game though, um, I'll just play a level and I'll upload it as a whole. And uh, well, unless it becomes retardedly long, like 4 hours or something, then I might cut it up into 1 hour pieces, but the idea is just you know to upload w upload one level as a whole so just so you know so some videos might be short uh, some might be long i think that the first videos will all be short and the more we make progress in the campaign the longer the videos will be so with that announcement made time to start the campaign ever smile Set in the realm of joy, the people of Eversmile are plagued only by aching facial muscles, and not anthrax as we had hoped. Eversmile is a disgusting land of good humour and polite frivolity. Well, that cheerful voice <laughs> was our mentor. 
Uh, at least I call him the mentor, but uh, yeah, he's kind of like our guide who will guide us through the campaign, telling us what to do. And uh, as you can tell, we have to get these jolly good people, and we have to get them, you know, rid of their facial muscle achings <laughs> by using some anthrax. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so as you can tell we are playing the bad guys. Now this is the campaign map and um, look it's uh, the overworld and since we're dungeon keepers we come from below but um, this is like the first level and um, well there is a tutorial built into this campaign and you can tell that by the T on this banner and I think like the first four or five uh, levels are all tutorial levels so there's a ni nice build up in the learning curve over here so that's good and um, yeah enough said let's start the destruction of Eversmile so here we go Alright, and here we are. Nice 720p resolution. Now, this is a tutorial and I'll quickly go over a few things if you haven't ever played this game, which is very likely, it's very old. But it's not going to be meant as a tutorial. So, here we have our Dungeon Heart, which, well, is us, you know, the evil keeper. And if this gets destroyed, it's game over, so we need to protect this. Now, over here, this is like the more or less the menu, and uh, well, it doesn't scale so well, but that's only because of the higher resolution. Uh, now, here we have a few tabs, and um, this over here just gives some general information about the dungeon, like the rooms we got, the amount of creatures, uh, progress in the workshop, progress in the library, and the payday meter. Um, you know, the the functions of all this stuff will become apparent later. Um, over here, this is like the room tab where we can build rooms. Now you can see we got this sparkling thing over here for the treasure room. You know what? Let's build it. And um, yeah, as you can see, we're building a treasure room. Now you might be wondering, why don't you drag you know a room out? You can't. <laughs> this game is that old that you have to click every tile. There's no dragging a square and then it will be filled up in as a whole. Now over here we got a spell tab where we have our spells. Currently we have one spell, quite a cool one actually, which um, is possession. And possession means that we take control of our creatures. And we can do whatever we want with it. Now right now we have an imp, we have control over an imp. And imps really, they're not counted as creatures, they're like slaves. And uh, they dig out the dungeon, claim the floor tiles, and do all that stuff. Look, and if we, you know, possess one, we can actually dig uh, away things ourselves, claim land ourselves, and uh, all nice stuff. But that's not the way how the game's meant to be played. Also, um, in the original, you know, it was all nice, and you could quite easily possess and have fun. In this uh, Keeper FX, it's a bit buggy and the game can crash if you, you, know, you, know, you are possessing a creature and certain things happen. Like for example, if you possess a creature and you trigger a trap, then yeah, game crashes. So, even though I love the whole feature and I used it extensively when back in the day, uh, we're not going to be possessing creatures all that much. In fact, most likely not ever, unless it's just to fly around and to scout. But, um, yeah, you know, the feature is there. It's just a bit broken in this version, so. Now over here we've got traps, which is totally empty, because, well, you know, first level and all. And this is the creature tab, where, as you might have guessed, you can see our creatures. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now then, um... This is gold, you know, and I just dug away one tile as an imp, and we want more of it, so we'll select it, and they will start digging. And, uh, well, another cool thing as well is, I think they are digging way too slow, so we'll slap them. <laughs> Work faster! <laughs> and you can see that, you know, the one that I just slapped moves at crazy speeds, while this one, the one who isn't slapped, is a lot slower. So it's quite cool, but you do want to be a little bit careful about that because imps don't heal and if you slap them they take damage me oh <laughs> 
but um, yeah, so you want to be a bit careful with it. But creatures, on the other hand, which we'll get in a bit, um, you can slap them and they can heal. So nice. All right, now these are all messages which we're not gonna read because I know the game. You maybe not, but you will soon. So yeah, dig faster. Imps, you really should see them as slaves, you know, the workforce of the dungeon. Also, listen to this. Wow, that's quite a relaxed heartbeat, if you ask me. <laughs> anyway, so we got stuff dug out here. Now, this is a tutorial, so everything's very, very scripted at the moment. And, um, okay. I should get like lair room at the moment. I haven't for some reason. I don't know why really. Um <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, so about the whole lair, huh? Alright. Now over here we'll just continue on like everything's normal, even though we should get a lair at the moment. But um this over here is a portal and well, you know, I was talking about creatures. Well, we don't win the levels with just imps. We need our own creatures for that. And um, the way to get them is through this portal. At least that's one way. Now, this is like some kind of gate to uh, the realms of nether. You know, hell and the underworld and whatever. So, once we got this, then creatures will come out of it. And which creature pretty much depends on the amount the rooms that you got. Now, we don't have any rooms apart from a treasury. So we won't likely be attracting all that much. Um, in fact, <laughs> yeah, look, see, a lair for our creatures. Which is what we'll do right now. A lair. Now this is just, you know, like their living room. They'll put their bed down here and if they've got nothing to do, they'll go and lie down here. Also, you can see that there's like this room has like these three bars over here. And uh, this red one is the health of a room. Now, this doesn't make any sense at the moment, but later on you can get, you know, you have to play against other enemy keepers and um, they'll try and take over your rooms and, uh, and that's where this ha red bar comes in. So you can see like how much progress they've made. And uh, you know, in overtaking the room. Now the green one is the usage, and the white one is the efficiency. And that efficiency thing is really just dependent on the size, the shape, and how much walls, you know, reinforced walls it is bordering to. And the preferred shape is like a square, and I think with a five by five uh, size, and then you get the whole size factor ticked off. So yeah, that's about the size. And uh, look, here are our first three creatures. <laughs> Freaking flies. <laughs> oh man. I mean, our dungeon must be like pretty filthy for these flies to appear here. And um, yeah, it seems though that <laughs> right from the start we might have broken the game already a little bit. Because uh, we should get bugs as well now. <laughs> but we don't. <laughs> Which is kind of a small problem. Actually, what if I drop all the flies in the portal? That's a way to get rid of them, you know, you'll just drop them in there and they go back down to the realms of nether or the underdark. And they'll come back as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hmm. Well, in any case, um, since there's not much happening over here, We'll go and explore a little bit. We'll just go and explore a little bit over here. Now I'm just holding the mouse down and I'm just moving the screen really, but... There's also a limit to the amount of orders you can give. This game is that old. <laughs> I think it isn't all that much. You can easily reach it as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about this game. So, great game. We're gonna have fun with it. Um, it if painful. only I didn't break the whole... Uh, <laughs> you know, intro thing. Now, you just heard the voice say that it's payday. And that's where this comes in. Each creature needs to get paid, uh, you know, after this meter expires. And if you don't have the goal to pay them, they're gonna become very, very, very angry. 
So right now I just grabbed them before they could take their pay. But you know, I'm a keeper. I am good for my creatures, even though I'm supposed to be evil. And uh, yeah, we'll let them get that do. Or maybe I was too late and they already took it. Um, regardless, this goes up the more creatures you have and the higher in level they are. So yeah, another thing to keep in mind. Um, now, right now, the game is quite stuck, really, and um, I might have to resort to do a little bit of, I don't know, <laughs> restarting, <laughs> if anything. Um, yeah, I kind of have an issue over here. See, it's all very scripted, and I think by just... Uh, you know, by digging away that gold uh, over there myself, I think I might have broken a script or two. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not all that good. Hmm. Yeah, mine out the gold to the east. I did that, but it says that, you know, it thinks that I haven't. So, that's a bit of an issue. So, here's what I'll do I'll just quickly restart this and, um,. Yeah, <laughs> we'll continue on from the point where we got like this whole thing. So, be right back. <laughs> and here we are, back again into the game. And this time, all the scripts have gone off proper. And um, yeah, look, we just claimed the portal now no, and we got our first fly. Area. So far, everything has been the same. But, um, wow, oh, look at over this. Wow. Yeah, so, see, we were just over here where we left off. Now, we should get ourselves a bug. Look, a beetle, <laughs> a bug. Here it is. Oh, this was supposed to happen at first. And, um, yeah, this, what I'm building over here right now, comes with the bug. Or at least, well, it unlocks as we get a bug. And it's a hatchery. Because our creatures also need to be fed. Because they're creatures. And they live. Now, this will hatch chickens <laughs> from the ground, <laughs> really. I mean, there's no, you know, over here, the question's not what was there first. Was it the chicken or the egg? It was the egg, <laughs> because it pops out of the ground. Well, you can't see it all that well over here, because the hatchery is quite small, and there's these pillars. But trust me, <laughs> the egg was there first. Um, so, then, now we got a new spell. Look, it's all shiny and sparkly, and this is the Create Im spell. Now, uh, we need imps, so we'll make one more, and um, spells in this game, they cost gold. <laughs> There's no mana, no, you gotta pay. <laughs> to whom? I don't know, but you gotta pay anyway. Now, you wanna be a bit careful with this, because uh, each imp you make will make the next one more expensive. And it can ramp up quite quickly, because already, we only got four now, and already making one more imp costs 750 gold. So, yeah, you want to be a bit careful with that. And um, here we are. This is our mighty and glorious army <laughs> of flies and bugs. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Also, another quite cool thing is that each creature has its own eating animation. I don't think that there's anything special with bugs and flies, but... Uh, ooh, look at this. We got ourselves enemies. Now, it says that we can see it here on the map, but I know this already, so... Now, they will start to attack us pretty soon. So, what we will do is we will drop our army over here and attack ourselves. We're gonna be aggressive in this one. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a tutorial. It's kind of hard to do. I mean, these are like your thieves. These are dwarves. And they're both, like, the weakest possible enemies you can face. <laughs> Though, we're not doing all that well ourselves. Look, they're murdering us. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh uh, no, we're murdering them too, though. <laughs> it was quite a close call. <laughs> Look at this, oh man. <laughs> I think that's the worst I've ever done on this battle. Then again, I never went full out on them, but... Anyway, it doesn't really matter much in this level, because the enemies are weak, they're even nerfed for... compared to their regular counterparts, so... But yeah, that's how combat goes over here. You spot enemies and you drop your creatures right next to them and hope for the best, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, that's how it works. You can uh, later on get spells and influence combat a bit. 
And, uh, well, this combat went pretty fast, but usually it goes quite quickly, you know, with creatures flying all over the place. And it's quite chaotic, quite fast-paced as well, actually. So, yeah, I just usually <laughs> drop them in there like a bomb and hope for the best. <laughs> That's my strategy. So, yeah, but uh, you can, Where if you're good at this, uh, which, well, I saw that. <laughs> it seems that he fell into a sinkhole and happened to land right inside our dungeon. Well, guess what? <laughs> We're gonna murder him too. You big knight in shiny armor. You're from the movie. And we're gonna murder you. And I want you to help fighting, flies. Look at this. And we're gonna kill him. <laughs> Imagine what a knight he must be. He gets slain by bugs and beetles. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you're gonna be... S oh man, yeah, your name is fouled forever. <laughs> you lost from the great keeper <laughs> with his mighty army of insects. <laughs> La who the her. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about you. <laughs> so, but yeah, this was the first level. As you can see, success. The land is ours. So, ever smile is destroyed, and Trax is incoming. Now, as you can see, we finished the level, but if we wanted to, we could continue on. Now, currently, in this level, there's not much to go for. You can see that the map's really big, but trust me, there's nothing here. I know this level. Some other levels, though, later on, could have secrets and specials in there, and... Um, you know, sometimes maybe because of uh, the th how the battle and level develops, we might not get to them while we're actively combating the goodly good guys or the evil enemy keepers. So I'll keep hunting for them because I do want every secret. And there's quite a few good ones in there, you know, like uh, for example, level up all creatures. It's quite nice because creatures have levels, as you can see. This is a level 1 bug. You can have level 2 ones, up to level 10. And the level up all creatures is really nifty. Especially later on, if you upgrade them from like level 8 to 9 or something. It's really neat. But there's other good stuff as well out there, like a transfer a creature. So you, got, you can have like a really high level creature, you know, at the start of the next level, at your dungeon height. So, yeah. Anyway, we finished the first level. Might and glory. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> that's for the good guys. Uh, terror and tyranny for us, the evil keeper. And uh, yeah, we made it. So I think it's time that we leave Ever Smile behind and see what has become of it. Branna Hawk. War and anthrax have taken to this land like fleas to a rat. The region is, thanks to your unstinting efforts, now a major eyesore. Brenna Hawk, huh? And Anthrax is like the most popular thing now, huh? Well, Mentor, <laughs> you sure didn't leave anything to chance then, <laughs> as I hear it. Uh, you get that after completing every level, and I quite like it, actually. So, and now over here, we completed the level, and uh, yeah, you know, we got ratings based on a magical formula. I don't know how it's calculated. Now over here we got all kinds of interesting stats. The only downside to it is that, well, you can see it's scrolling over here. I can't pause it. I can't scroll up or down, click it, stop it, choose it or whatever. So yeah, there's pretty much just this, you know. Now I'll leave it run for a bit so you can see it how well we did <laughs> in the very first level <laughs> oh man yeah <laughs> so yeah see zero zero everywhere so it's not all that interesting over here but um wow cave ins never had that really but um regardless so that's it pretty much now if we click on ok we see our score <laughs> which is really low but you can see i mean i've been playing this game as well already before i started recording it quite a while ago though but well you know my scores are still in here and uh, yeah <laughs> we are on place 20 <laughs> not all that high i have to say but we'll add ourselves into the list and um, that's it pretty much so, um, yeah, join me next time when we will play the next level. <laughs>